Hi, my name is Mike Parent, and I've been a professional video game artist for about eight years. Throughout that time, I was frequently asked to help review portfolios and help choose in the hiring of new artists. Over this same time, I've also watched countless tutorials made by other professional game artists and concept artists. But while they taught me a lot of great techniques for creating art, I felt that there was a lot of information that these tutorials never seemed to cover. So I'm going to try to fill the gap. I'm going to create tutorials to help you create the best possible portfolio you can as quickly as possible. I'm going to tell you from first-hand experience what art directors and potential contractors love to see in a portfolio and what they hate to see in a portfolio. And it's not just about making the best looking art. I'll tell you how to stand out from the crowd, how to exhibit traits that will make you more likely to be hired, and then become one of the most valued members of the art team. But first, let's talk about choosing the art for your portfolio. You'll hear me touch on this theme a lot. Knowing what to leave out can be every bit as important as knowing what to put in. This goes for writing, cooking, music, drawing, and especially portfolios. And, unlike knowing to put in, Knowing what to leave out is a much more rare art for someone to master. Especially in this industry, nothing is more valuable than time. Art directors don't have the time or interest in seeing everything you've ever made, and especially don't care how amazingly good your drawings were in grade school. I'll go into more specific details in my next several videos, but here are the general rules. Your portfolio only has room for your most recent and best work. If you have a piece of art that's several years old that you think belongs in your portfolio, then there's probably something wrong. If there's more than two images that show the same general style, theme, and skill set, then only the best one or two maximum should be left in the portfolio. If it looks like you did it for a class in high school or during a figure drawing session, then be careful. This type of drawing should be limited to one single sketchpad type image in your portfolio. The trick I suggest, pick only the best of these figure studies, cut them out in Photoshop, and arrange them onto a single image so it looks like one very strong page from what must be an amazing sketchbook. They like to know that you can draw, and the ability to draw people is a critical skill, but you're applying to be a game artist. Aside from that one sketchbook page image, all images in your portfolio should look like it was made as part of the process of making a game. They aren't just looking for someone who can draw, they're looking for someone who loves games and loves making them. If they see a portfolio, no matter how good the art, where not a single image is related to video games, they will know something is very wrong. If there's no game art in your portfolio, you clearly aren't that into it. No one who doesn't love games will do well in the fast pace and grueling workload of video game production. Making art for games is not just about drawing cool things. It requires the constant application of a vast amount of specific technical knowledge. Every design decision must be informed by the fact that the drawing does not stand on its own and must fulfill its function as part of a greater whole. So if your drawing does not look like a finished character concept sketch, in-game cinematic scene, prop or environment mock-up, or actual finished game asset, Either figure out how to make it look like it is, or leave it out of your resume. If you don't have any art that matches these descriptions, then you've got a lot of work to do. A couple of talented artists have been nice enough to volunteer their portfolio art to me for use in these tutorials, so my next video will begin a series of specific critiques and suggestions for improving work. I hope they prove to be a useful source of information for you. See you soon.